Hey guys, in today's video, I've got something super exciting to share with those who are willing to learn about environment creation inside Blender. So I'll be taking you through a couple of beginner friendly courses, as well as more advanced courses that will help you master the process of making environments in no time. We're gonna start with a training called Efficient Environment Design for Blender, which tackles all the stages of creating a beautiful industrial environment filled with different elements. The course offers 10 hours of narrated content, guiding you through the entire process of creating the environment. Starting with sketching out the comps and ideas, then you'll progress into the asset creation phase in addition to texturing, integrating scans, building detailed scenes, and using Blender's real-time compositor for post-processing to make things look beautiful and polished. The chapters cover many topics such as basic design rules, preparation, lighting your scene, using add-ons and shortcuts to simplify your workflow. Also, there are specific chapters that focus on creating assets like walls, factories, and towers, in addition to optimizing scenes and tweaking lighting for different shots. Now, we're gonna move away from planet Earth a little bit and go to the outer space to tackle the process of making nebulas. The Nebula course from Creative Shrimp, I believe, offers a comprehensive guide to creating beautifully created volumetric 3D nebulas, all within Blender. First, you will learn the basics of using procedural noises to fill 3D volumes. Then, you will explore Cycles volume rendering to create interstellar cloudscapes. Next, after that, you will dive into shading techniques like gradients and vector math to mimic natural forces. After that, you will master geometry nodes to create colorful point clouds and simulate physical forces, as well as learning how to create believable materials and density point clouds. And as of recently, this course got a couple of updates, bringing more value to the table, tackling new topics like creating multi-layer star fields, as well as the long-awaited EV chapter that targets those with low-end GPUs. Now back again to Earth, and moving on to the next course, which is all about creating realistic vegetation rich nature scenes. Inspired from a beautiful real world location, the instructor will take you through his workflow of making such a scene in 3D. You will start by organizing and managing projects, followed by diving into the basics of Blender to get you up and running to start creating the actual environment. From there, you will progress through chapters dedicated to creating various scenes, including grassy fields, realistic trees, and castle sunsets. It should also be noted that each chapter focuses on essential skills like modeling, material blending, and sky creation, which obviously is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide through practical projects so that you will get your hands dirty and actually learn a thing or two during the process. In a similar vein, but a little bit different at the same time, we have a course about creating snowy environments, which covers a frozen river scene with cozy medieval cabin and all the stuff that come with that. And the instructor will walk you through the entire process of his workflow. So you will start by setting up a solid foundation for your project, where you will learn crucial tips for organizing project files to streamline your workflow. Moving on, you will get to create the frozen river scene by mastering techniques like material blending and tree scattering. Next, you will focus on constructing a medieval cabin, covering everything from laying the foundation to animating the snowfall. And finally, in chapter 4, you will populate the cabin with a luxurious living room using exclusive assets and lighting techniques to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. Next up is a course called the Ultimate Environment Artist Guide, which was made by 3D Tutor, which targets both beginners and experienced artists alike. But the thing is, it is really long, spanning over 40 hours. But you will get to learn the process of creating a Victorian town environment from coffee shops all the way to vintage trucks. You'll begin by gathering references to ensure authenticity and detail, aided by a provided resource pack featuring all sorts of things like shaders and geometry nodes. In addition, the instructor will walk you through a couple of modeling techniques like using curves and modifiers for that non-destructive workflow. 
And of course, you can't forget about shaders, which played a crucial role in bringing this Victorian era to life, with a focus on achieving realistic effects like worn edges on wood, just to name a few things. With something a little bit different, now let's talk a bit about trim sheets for making optimized game asset environments. With a course called AZ Environment Design using Trim Sheets by Blender Bros. And I highly recommend their courses because they have a lot of good stuff. So in this one, you will receive six trim sheets and learn how to model and design your own. With tutorials on environment design and texturing using those trim sheets. It should be a known thing that trim sheets allow for detailed textures without additional modeling, saving you time as a 3D artist. So this course targets game development artists, environment artists, and 3D enthusiasts in general who are interested in optimizing their workflow. During this course, you are recommended to use add-ons like Hard Ops, Box Cutter, and Decal Machine to be able to follow throughout the course, because this training is all about efficiency and creating something that looks realistic. Around the same topic of optimization and real-time performance, there is also a course called Real-Time Environment Design in Blender, which is a crash course that focuses on creating real-time environments with EV, spanning only for hours. It is targeted to both experienced Blender users and beginners, and it covers topics such as Magascan setup, texture blending, decals, custom asset creation, lighting setups for different scenes, and more. The course also includes narrated video tutorials and lessons and a Blender file with texture nodes where you will explore techniques for setting up desert, sunset, and night scenes as well as creating realistic effects like cloud shadows and volumetric fog. From realism, now let's take a look at something stylized with a course called Cubicity which is, I think, a complete guide for creating assets and crafting environments using Blender's very own asset libraries. And this course covers the Asset Browser feature within Blender, which enables easy optimization and organization when it comes to navigating your three assets. And throughout the course, you will create adorable city assets, make them accessible through the Asset Browser, and then later you can assemble them into an isometric city scene. Starting with simple assets like light posts and benches, the course progresses into more intermediate concepts such as modular building design and street sections. And the most important thing you will learn is all about advanced techniques like using geometry nodes for parametric building creation and automated material randomization in the shader graph. Still around the same topic, Let's take a look at this course called Stylized 3D Forest Environment, also from CG Cookie. In this course, spanning 14 videos, you will dive into various skills you require to make a cute and stylized forest, including low poly modeling from scratch, using sampling add on for tree and plant generation, and populating the scene with particles for grass and trees. In addition, you will explore material creation, lighting, and rendering using Eevee with the final touches applied through the compositor. And despite covering all this step, the stylized poly aesthetic simplifies each step compared to a process that goes along with making realistic assets, which makes sense. Now, let's go to create more realistic environments, this time with a course called Creating a Medieval Town Environment. It includes project planning and the creation of blackout scenes, along with building modular structures for a higher reusability. Basically, you will learn sculpting techniques for wood and concrete assets in ZBrush, as well as utilizing Nanite in Unreal Engine 5 to enhance the model's quality. And the course dives into creating tileable materials using Substance 3D Designer and making unique textures with Substance Painter. Also, lighting and post effects using Unreal Engine 5, along with adding geometry displacement using Unreal's modeling tools. And the course is spending over 29 hours of real time content, which means you will learn a lot. The next course is all about environment design, but this time it's gonna be a great introduction because it offers a step by step guide to creating environments covering essential industry techniques like modeling, sculpting, texturing, lighting, and compositing, which ensures that you fully understand the workflow. 
With clear presentation, I think each lesson is essentially comprehensive and delivers the message. And the good thing is, you can use it with any major modeling tool other than Blender, like Max and Maya, which allows for more flexibility. And the course this time also spans over 25 hours from project planning, software introduction, blackout creation, to final modeling and final creation of materials and texturing. Last but not least, we have a course called Full Environment Creation in Unreal Engine 5 and Blender. This one covers techniques like modular modeling, procedural texturing, level art and composition, in addition to shader creation, lighting, and even character animation to top it off. And it is spanning over 31 hours of content, of real-time demonstration, and time-lapse footage for repetitive tasks, because to be honest, it sometimes gets boring, so that's that. First, you will start by creating a blockout, and you will start setting up Unreal Engine 5. Then you will develop procedural materials, turn blackout models into final ones, and export to Unreal Engine 5. And with this one, you will learn advanced shaders and the making of landscape materials, as well as modeling those landscapes using modeling tools with Unreal Engine. In addition, you will learn about lighting with Lumen System, and finally, you will do some color grading in DaVinci Resolve. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these courses, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive maybe more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.